Hello, wonderful people of said channel. Um, I realise it's been a while since I actually updated you guys what's going on with my health. Um, if you don't know, I am currently on tour with Mamma Mia, so it's all a bit hectic and I've not really had chance to like sit down properly and talk to the camera and inform you guys what's actually going on. So I don't know what I last said about my health, um, but good news is it's all going great. So that's it in a nutshell. <laughs> so if that's all you wanted to hear, then you can happily click off this video now. Um, but if you want more detail, then I will obviously go into more detail now. Um, so basically over the last, I think, a year since I came into remission last February from prednisolone. Um, initially, I believe I was put on 40 milligrams. Um, and then from there, I started to like um, wean down like um, over time. And then as of three weeks ago, I was on five milligrams of prednisolone, but then I had a, a telephone appointment with my, not my consultant, it was someone else in the renal ward, um, but they were still very helpful. And basically they told me to go five zero, five zero by zero for two weeks and then stop the pred because it had been three years. So I am no longer on pred and I'm really, really happy about it because if you know, you know. Um, lots of videos that I delve into more information about prednisolone which I will not bore you with the details now um but of course I was still on cyclosporin which I was on 75 milligrams twice a day and if you don't know then that is a immunosuppressant so more information if you didn't know then last year I had two rounds of rituximab um given to me at hospital because it's an infusion and you have to go to your hospital to do it. I am going back for more rituximab treatment tomorrow so I thought I'd start the vlog now. Um, so what I've done so far is I went for a Covid swab on Sunday just gone so today is Tuesday. Um, so Sunday just gone I went for a Covid swab because obviously Covid is still a thing and I'm going into hospital. Um, no one has contacted me about that so I assume touch wood it's fine. Um, and then yesterday I went for the blood test um, in preparation for the rituximab and that's when they have to test my the, something like hemoglobulins or something like that and hepatitis A and B or B and C. Can't quite remember which ones. A, B or C, not quite sure, but it was hepatitis anyway. So I had that done yesterday. I have a lovely bruise to show for it here. And then tomorrow I will be off to the hospital and it will be the regular procedure of get there, um, take the, I think it's antihistamines they give you just in case you're allergic to anything, um, because I know the first time I had it done, that was a whole story. Um, I'll link the previous videos below because I've already had two rounds of this, but I just thought I'd vlog the third round because people seem to like them and find them interesting. So I thought I'd vlog the third one. Um, and yeah. Uh, other than that, touch wood, health is fine. Um, and then I had to stop my cyclosporin five days before the treatment. So um, otherwise there's too many immunosuppressants in my body. Um, and then after the treatment, I need to start the cyclosporin again five days afterwards. And then I think the plan from that is to then slowly wean off the cyclosporin, which is scary, but very exciting. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to leave this section here because I don't want my phone to run out of storage again, because that's not fun for anyone. And I will see you guys in the next clip tomorrow. Okay, so this is just the cannula. Is that too tight? No, that's all good. Oh, it looks a bit, you sure? Not pinching? No. Just have too much skin on my wrist. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're sure that's all right? Yeah, that's all good. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you all like watching it? <laughs> yeah, I, last two times I made myself watch it just so I can just like face the fear. Oh, bless you. Mm. Okay. The magic. Oh, God. Anti-pain cream. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll tell people on, on YouTube. <laughs> oh, God. So I think the thought of it is worse than actually having it done. Oh, 
So just imagine we're on a beach. Yep. With this sunshine. I'm going to book a holiday at some point for August anyway, so I'm already there. <laughs> Sorry, you okay? Yeah, all good. Um, look at that. That's what we like to see. You all right? Yeah. yeah. There we go. So just keep nice and still. Um, no, it was in, but it's... Okay. <laughs> oh. You all right? Yeah. Does it start to hurt? No, I just didn't like watching it after. Oh, uh, like, yeah. Where it's wiggling around a bit. Mm. You're right. Yeah, I'm all Yeah, good. just tell me if it. Yeah, it was in. But then <laughs> it's. I don't. I'm not quite sure what's happened. You okay? Yeah, just all good. Yeah, I think it's yeah moved out the way. That's fine. Sorry. It's all right. Don't worry. We've got some other options we can go for though. Yeah. So we'll take this one out. Thank Sorry. you. You're right. Yeah, it's a little bit stingy now. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just yeah. All good. Oh. Let's pop a bit of tape. On. Stupid veins. Why? Yeah. Yeah. We get this a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do take two in a minute. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right. Okay, so obviously from the last clip, it um, didn't go in the left hand, so it's now in the right hand. Um, and then we just had to fill out another consent form because it has been another year. Um, but basically what's happening now is, so through there is the saline solution and it goes all the way down here and into me. Um, so after this is done, this is just to clean out all the veins and stuff. Um, I will then have the pre-meds, which is like the antihistamines, etc, etc. Uh, and then we'll start the actual treatment. So this is the antihistamine that's going in now. Very cold. <laughs> yeah, we'll just give it nice and slow. And then last time I had this, I literally fell asleep for a good 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So that will all go in and then I've just taken some paracetamol and then as well after that oh and hydrocortisone as well yeah. so is that also going in It'll, yeah the ah. infusion. i see i see i see i see sorry if you cannot hear me i have a mask on but the rituximab treatment is now going in um and we're gonna do it slowly just because last time i did have a little bit of an allergic reaction so we just had to do it slowly anyway um so that's happening now i feel quite drowsy because of the antihistamines um but so far so good and i hope that it doesn't take too long today um i'll show you my hand because i've wrapped it up because i hate looking at the cannula um but yeah so far everything's good and i'll come and check every half an hour um because that's when the sensor will go off i think because they're giving it in half an hour doses I, i'm not really sure to be honest um but yeah so this machine here just controls the rate of what everything happens um so it'll control the speed it can go quicker it can go slower um and then obviously it's just hooked up to the bag there which is very interesting i think and so far it's going good it's quarter to one so it's gone very very quickly um and I've been here since half past eight, so hopefully we'll be done at some point this afternoon. So I have successfully, I think, had like a five minute nap. I'm so tired. Um, but lunch has come round and the nurse have kindly gave me an egg mayo sandwich, some yogurt and some orange juice. So I'm just going to munch on that now and then maybe go back to sleep. So we're just flushing everything out now. It is half past two and it's gone very very quickly so everything ran really smoothly we just kept it on the slow 
pace just because obviously I didn't want to have an allergic reaction. But I just slept the whole way through, which was so nice. Um, and yeah, this bad boy will come out in the next 10 minutes and then I'll be on my way home. So we're taking everything off now. Hello, so it's now been maybe 48 hours later because I 100% forgot that I was vlogging this process. Um, so basically, just a quick load on what happened. Um, so obviously in the previous clips you saw that I got the treatment done. Um, the lovely nurse Rachel did try and get the cannula in twice, it didn't work. So then we ended up going in this hand, um, I don't know if you can see there, but we did try here and I think somewhere here, you can't really see that. Um, in the end went in the right hand and overall it took so much quicker than last time I think maybe my body's used to it now since I had it done twice last year um what is oh, I've got a bit of eczema lovely please ignore that um yeah so basically last time I think it took about six hours it was quite long but this time I think we officially started at about 10 after getting the cannula in and I was out by half past two um so it was quite a quick process but what i will say is this time i was absolutely shattered during the process i think because i was tired anyway because it was such an early wake up um we left my home at like 7 a.m to get there at half past eight um and then because of that i was just so tired and i was just ready for long naps like really long naps um what i will say is if you are tired you just have to be really wary that the nurses will come round every half an hour or at least mine did anyway to check your obs so your blood pressure and like just see how you're doing and stuff so like every half an hour the nurse would literally be like jazz jazz and i'd be like hello because <laughs> i'd just be in such a deep sleep because i was just so tired but i think that was again from me being tired anyway and the antihistamines obviously going directly through my vein because like you saw in the clips, they give you pre-meds, um, which would be the um, hydrocortisone, the antihistamine and the paracetamol. Um, so I was just very, very tired. Um, but I had some really good naps, so I'm not complaining. Um, and then afterwards, me and my dad actually went to the garden centre because we'd just never been to that one near that hospital before, even though we live very close to it, we've never been. Um, and then I just slept all the way home. And then as soon as I got home, I just slept throughout the whole night. I made some dinner, I think at about 7 p.m. for me and my dad, and then just slept. Um, I just never felt that tired in a long time. Um, so I think because obviously it's my week off as well, I just needed that time to just sleep. Um, but yeah, and then yesterday I just carried on as normal. Um, I was absolutely fine. I'm still fine now, touch wood. Um, I literally, I went with my friends, I got my hair cut, I got my nails done. I just went about my daily life, really. Um, I didn't really feel tired at all because I just feel like I'd slept that much the day before. I was all slept out, really. Um, and yeah, like today was just a normal, just not really much to say, really, because I, I personally feel fine after the treatments. I feel quite energised and like high off life. And I don't know whether that's because I'm quite an active person anyway, um, or maybe because I'd literally slept it all off whilst I got the treatment done. Um, but yeah, I am I feel absolutely fine. And hopefully I can update you guys what's going on in the future, like about my cyclist pouring and all that jazz, because I am still on that. So the plan is obviously to come off that and then just be on the rituximab, which I know um, a few people have like reached out to me and said that that's like worked for them, which is absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it here for now because there's really not much else to say. Um, and yeah, I hope you found this third rituximab journey somewhat informative again. Um, I don't know. I can't tell you, unfortunately, how often I need to get these done because that's like how long's a piece of string. I really don't know. Um, so yeah, I will just update you when and what happens when it gets to it. So again, I hope you found this video informative and I love you lots. I don't know what the next video is going to be as usual and I'll see you next time. Bye.